Hi, in this video we are going to discuss the eraser tool. Some of the options here, in fact most of the options, we already covered in the videos of our brush tool, so I'm not going back to them. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the options that are new here or behave differently. So the first thing, let's select our eraser tool. We have this image here and this layer below. So I'm going to make a stroke here. As you can see, I am not erasing to the image below. I am erasing to the background color. Now if I change that background color, let's say to light blue, you see I am erasing to that background color. Let's undo that. Uh, also, you can select a, a background color here when you're in the eraser tool by holding the control key and you get this color picker. So just pick a color and you see it's assigned to the background color. And when I erase, I will be erasing with to this background color. Now, to be able to erase to the layer below, I have to add an alpha channel to this image. So this image also has a transparency. Now that I added it, you see how I'm erasing to the layer below. Let's undo that. Let's remove the alpha channel. Now if I go and switch to anti-erase mode here, I will be erasing again to the background color. You have to again assign a transparency, add an alpha channel here to be able to anti-erase. If I now erase like that, and click to anti-erase, I get to see my image again. So adding a transparency, an alpha channel, or removing it changes the way this tool behaves. Now something else here, the hard edge option. Now if I erase like that, and we zoom in really close, you see here that we haven't erased completely all the pixels. Let's undo that. If I check on the hard edge option and zoom in really close, you see how we no longer have anything left of the previous pixels. So this is how this option work. And this is basically all for our erase tool. See you in the next video.